And the trick to this, too, is you've got to protect your quarterback, give him time to wind up and chuck it. They're spreading things out. There's a four-man rush. Old Dominion sends Travis Bolger back to the goal line to play defense. Over the middle, and it's dropped, oh. and that's how it's this game will head into overtime. Black. A flag is back around the line of scrimmage, though, at the 40. It's like they might have hit the quarterback late. Boy, that's not a wise decision if that's the call. Personal foul, rubbing the passer. Defense, number 17, 15-yard penalty, automatic first down. There'll be one untimed down. And an untimed down play, so they get another shot at it. And it looked like they were getting ready to do a lateral after the catch. Watch Shanley as he gets ready to throw it back. And then he gets pushed in the face. So after the throw. Old Dominion also puts Jonathan Duhart in the game as well to play defense. So the ball is now at the 40. We got a late offensive lineman. They're gonna they're gonna kick it. It's a 57 yard attempt with a 30 mile an hour wind in his back. And remember, Old Dominion doesn't have any timeouts. So Alex Ranella on to attempt a game-winning field goal. His career long is 50. Kick is up, doesn't have the distance, and we are heading to overtime. Wow. What a contest this has been. Tied at 34 after four quarters. Uh, officials looking like I didn't see a flag, but the official's out there like he's ready to make the call. The previous play is under review. So they are reviewing that field, field goal. goal attempt. It was definitely short. They bounced it about the goal line. <laughs> so I don't think they were going to review whether it was good or not. Something else must have happened on the field. On an untimed play. What a game, though. These two teams trying to turn their seasons around. There, there you see the kick is well short. Lance at the base of the K. Well, Old Dominion, they were definitely playing for the Hail Mary. And then Western Kentucky sent the field goal unit out there, and the Monarchs were in scramble mode. Now, I don't know what the discussion's about, though. You either throw a penalty uh, or what. I'm not sure what it is. But what a game we've had. I mean, these two teams, once again, there's the there's the field goal attempt. They got, if they got too many players, you just throw a flag. Looks like that's 10. After review, it was determined that the defense had 12 members on the field during the live ball. It's a five-yard penalty for illegal substitution. You will replay first down. Yeah, two times one, in a row. Time down. Dominion with costly penalties, so now the ball is at the 35-yard line, and this will be another field goal attempt coming up here for Western Kentucky. Now it's a 52-yard attempt. The last time he hit it at the base of the case, so he's five yards closer. It didn't look like he caught it, so if he catches it cleanly, this could be within his range. Alex Ranella for the win. The kick is up, and Old Dominion has a return man back there. This is Harper. Harper. At the 25, Harper with some room here. Harper in midfield. Harper me? at the 30. Can he stay on his feet? Harper at the 15 oh. and is out of bounds. And a flag is down at the 20. Are we going to have a third untimed down? Or is that a hole? Wow, what a return by Harper. These two teams are both fighting for their first conference win of the season. The officials are huddling over there. There's a flag down on the play. We've had two untimed downs. Harper almost returned it. A <laughs> hundred yards. And then a flag at the end of the play. And so, players are scrambling out, up and down the sidelines. Well, right now, Old Dominion is sending out their 
field goal unit to attempt a game-winning field goal. Here's the replay. So the, the kick is well short. Here it goes. Harper gets it a couple of yards deep in the end zone. Looks like he's going to run into his own guy right here. But instead, he breaks a couple of tackles, takes it to the outside, finds some room, gets a block. I don't see what the flag is thrown for. So I didn't see anything in that replay that showed why the flag was thrown. Here comes the official. During the return of the kick, personal foul, face mask. Number 77. The penalty is half the distance to the goal from the end of the return. There'll be one untimed down. First down, Old Dominion. Play in a row. We have a a penalty with no time left. And so now Old Dominion will kick a field goal from the eight-yard line. They are going so into a, the wind. A 25-yard field goal attempt for the win here for the sophomore Nick Rice. He's one for one tonight. He's good for 45. So Bailey Kate is the holder. Broughton Hatcher is the long snapper, kicking into the wind. So Nick Rice for the win. The kick is up, and it's good. And Old Dominion picks up their first conference victory on the season. Are you kidding me? Oh, what a crazy ending for a game. Wow. Three untimed downs at the end of regulation with a tie ball game. For a minute there, it looked like Western Kentucky had a chance to win it. And after the great return by Isaiah Harris and a penalty at the end of the play, half the distance to the goal, and here's your game winner. Nick Rice from 25 yards out. That's a chip shot for him. Wow. I'm speechless with how the <laughs> final three untimed downs with well, a penalty in a row. I have never seen that. That's amazing. 